chemically recycling discarded face masks into carbon nanotubes. At the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, disposable plastic face masks were produced in staggering numbers. In April 2020, China alone reported manufacturing 450 million masks every single day, amounting to an estimated 52 billion masks over the course of 2020. Inevitably, the sheer quantity of plastic waste has had disastrous consequences for the environment. Up to 2 billion masks are believed to have ended up in the ocean. Even by conservative estimates, this growing problem presents an urgent need to better manage the waste produced by face masks. Dr. Alvin Obeck White and his colleagues at the Energy Safety Research Institute, based on the campus of Swansea University, are particularly well placed to tackle this challenge. In their previous research, the team explored how plastic waste can be chemically recycled into carbon nanotubes. These tubes look like rolled up chicken wire with honeycomb walls. They are made of pure carbon and can be around 1 nanometer in diameter, roughly 80,000 times thinner than a human hair. Alongside their remarkable strength and thermal conductivity, carbon nanotubes perform exceptionally well as electrical conductors. Even though they are a kind of organic molecule, they act like metals in many ways, especially in the way they conduct electricity. To transform discarded face masks into carbon nanotubes, Dr. Olbeck White's team first cut them into small pieces and dissolved them in a hydrocarbon solvent. They then used this concentrated hydrocarbon mixture as ingredients for the next step. In the next step, they used a technique named chemical vapor deposition to convert the carbon atoms from the liquid solution into solid carbon nanotubes. This involved injecting the solution into a hot furnace alongside an iron-based catalyst and a blend of hydrogen and nitrogen gas. Under the right concentrations, temperatures and flow rates, this process formed a vapor of hydrogen and carbon atoms, which grew into carbon nanotubes thanks to the iron catalyst. To demonstrate the quality of their newly formed nanotubes, Dr. Obeck White and his colleagues loaded them into a heat shrinking tube, which firmly compacted them into a sealed electrically conducting cable. After plugging both ends of the cable into commercially available connectors, the researchers tested the wire's performance as an Ethernet cable. Ethernet cables link computers together and are often found linking home computers to the internet, for example. In these tests, the cable achieved upload and download speeds of up to 95 megabytes per second, exceeding worldwide broadband standards. The team's initial tests suggest a promising future for their chemical recycling technique. They believe that chemically recycling plastics into carbon nanotubes would be useful in diverse fields including electronics, energy, transportation, manufacturing, construction, and even art. As such, the team's method could ultimately transform the problem of disposed face masks from a growing environmental issue into a valuable resource for advanced materials manufacturing.